What's going on guys, it's Flip and Natalie, and in today's video we'll be working on one of the pieces in my mid-century furniture for my personal set, and it's this one right here. Unfortunately, I didn't get a better picture of it uh, beforehand, but hopefully you guys can forgive me and imagine what it looked like. It was in pretty rough shape, as you can see right here. I am scraping the top with my handy dandy scraper. If you guys haven't seen the nightstands and the long dresser, um, they're on my channel as well. I'll link them down below. Those ones go more in depth and they're longer of how I exactly did it. But today is just a short, quick video. Um, don't worry, I have some videos coming out um, where I do some painting on some dressers, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, I just got to edit it. I'm already finished, but um, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and sand. Um, I'm using 120. And then I switch off with my scraper and my sander. And then once I get all the finish, um, as much finish as I can with my scraper, I go in with my sander. And also just know that all my tools and everything I'll be using in the video will be linked down below. So if you guys are going to work on one for yourself or to resell, just know that those links are down below conveniently for you. Um, I actually finished this set probably like, I'm going to say like a month or so ago. Uh, maybe two. It's just been the matter of editing the videos. They take a long time to edit, so I'm finally getting around to it. Here I'm hand sanding, just trying to get as much finish off as possible in those little crevices that um, I can't go in with my awesome the Walt sander. <laughs> After I sanded the whole entire piece, I went in with mineral spirits and I cleaned off all the particles and the dust and then I went straight into staining and I used Antique Walnut by General Finishes. After I applied it with an applicator, I wiped it off immediately with another rag um, because on this day it was particularly hot so wiped it off immediately because if you wait a little bit it gets tacky and then um, it wants to like stick and not show as much grain. So that's why you have to wipe off all the excess so more grain can show through. My camera died in the middle of me finishing up, but here is the before, and here's the after. Mm -hmm. 